Emiya Kiritsuku's power, time alter, double XL, triple stagnate, who knows what else he can do. It's not the most OP time-based power I've seen in anime, far from it. But something about it is so cool conceptually, along with whole, you know, what Kiritsugu is, like an assassin. Like he can fight close quarters because he can just move so fast now. Kaneth is attacking with this Mercury slime ball magic thing. Caster is attacking with children turned into these Vor plant stuff. Right now, Lancer and Saber is against him, but I think the main highlight of the battle is Kiritsugu versus Kaneth. And today's episode is called Mage Killer. Gee, I wonder who's gonna win. Let's begin today's reaction. Aidy. Madam. Maya. What the hell, I? Uh oh, someone else has entered. Madam. Someone else is here. Who else? There's a party here. Kirei has entered the fray yet again. Hold wait a minute. I thought it was gonna Kiritsuku came. Kirei is showing up yet again? The executor of the church. Y'all are gonna die trying to face him. Madam, uh oh The ladies might get clapped by Kire. Probably. The girls are gonna get cooked. I have no faith in Maya and Aide to take down Kire. Maybe by time. Maybe like prevent him from showing up, but like, oh man, dude, Kire is like a superhuman Wolverine, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Hi. Things aren't looking good. Hmm. What we call the human heart. Says the homunculi. Who is not even a real human, right? But she is basically human. Like, there's nothing about Aidy that tells me she's not a human. In fact, she's like one of the most empathetic persons in the show. I feel like. The actual humans, like fucking Maya, Kiritsugu, Kire, like those dudes are like non-humans, and the actual non-human is the human. Kaneth, Kire, sorry, Kaneth, Kiritsugu. <laughs> Let him cook. Yeah, this is where we left off last time. Okay, it's not Walter. Walter was like the sniper. This is Thompson. The pistol is Thompson. This should penetrate. Kiritsugu smirked. There's no way he would have said, Hey, Kenneth. And then start shooting. No, no, no. He prepared him for this. So this should penetrate the slime thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got hit in. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> What is that pistol? I wonder if it's the gun that's special or if it's the bullet. Or maybe it's both. He's a mage killer, bro. Nah, bro, the pride and the arrogance of mages is gonna, you know, consume him. Kiritsuku don't give a fuck about honor or shit like that. He's just here to win right now, man. True. Okay, now what do we do, right? We, surely, there, Kiritsuku has got this fun. Just, is there another gun? Is there another bullet? Is there something special? Right? There's gotta be mind games to this. And then? Okay, so so everything is still according to plan. We're conditioning, we're conditioning Kaneth to act in the way that he thinks is helpful. But if he puts everything to defense, then what? I don't know. Like this gun, this bullet shit, like super OP shit. Okay. Just a complete random 
story. You know what Kirisuku is doing right now? He's literally conditioning exactly fighting games, right? As in like, you're going to start doing one move the entire time. And you condition the other guy to anticipate that one move coming. But the next time, you condition them so you do something else. And that's like the mind game, right? The first level of like, I know you're going to do rock. Like, let's say he's been just doing rock the entire time. The opponent can just do paper. But that's when we come with scissors. Now, that's called conditioning. Let me explain to you what multi-tournament conditioning is. This is an excuse made by a famous uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee player who had the excuse that every tournament that he lost against the same enemy, he was multi-tournament conditioning. And every tournament, he lost to the same guy the same way. And then in one tournament, he won against that guy. And then the excuse was like, yep, had you fooled the entire time. Multi-tournament conditioning. It was the long con plan, which is a complete bullshit excuse, but it's just like... <laughs> Multi-tournament conditioning? Kirei. That's right, two steps ahead. <laughs> Uh oh, Maya. What the fuck? Is he a ninja? He's straight up a ninja. Oh, oh. I mean, I mean, no matter how superhuman he is, can he can he take bullets? I didn't see blood though. I did not see blood though. Um, don't get cocky now. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Finish him. No, 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 no. Throw a grenade there. Throw a grenade. Shoot him. Don't get closer, Maya. What are you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> What are they feeding this kid at the church? You can't tell me the Mapo Tofu is the reason why he's so strong right now. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what, what is this shit? Like, like, the bullets are doing nothing. He, he, he has super armor. <laughs> the, the executors in lore in, in the Fate series are just that strong. Bullets deflect off of them? Are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I didn't know. Can I? Oh, we know. We know. You know my name. What can Aidy do? Aidy just heals though, right? <sighs> the title Mage Hunter today. It was not simply referring to Kiritsugu. He is an executor. He does hunt mages. Two sides of the same coin, bro. Kire and Kiritsugu is their episode. <laughs> I didn't? Did he tell you how to fucking blow up a building too? What? Alright. Whoa, familiars. That's her hair? <laughs> this is all her magic hair? Oh. Seal him. Nice. It's working. Yo, I I underestimated ID. Wow. Okay, the hair magic familiar whip attack. It's working. I I thought he could just break out of it because he's so fucking OP. Maya Please shoot him, Maya. But like the guns don't do anything. Huh? What's that sound? Is that Kire? What's he doing? Okay. I thought for a second he was literally thrusting the tree. Cause like his hand can't move. So I thought he would just like mm, just just give him the tree some strokes. I'm like, these some powerful back shots. No 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 no. There's something happening with this palm. There's like some it's not moving. There's like internal mana force just boom boom. What is this bro? Executor martial arts? Well then. Can we do that again? Uh oh, Maya, no, Maya! Run, Maya! We're cooked. 
ID. You got anything else? All right, last to save her. Oh, man. I wonder if Kitty would be nice enough to let us live and he just goes after Kiritsugu, but like, this dude. Like, diamond hard skin. Bullets don't fucking work. He's got this like martial art shit that is just so powerful. He doesn't even need the throwing knife, the wolverine claws. He can just fight people barehanded. This dude is so powerful. Like, I thought the Mapo Tofu guy was just a meme. An FGO. I thought this guy just says Yorokobe Shonen and people go, Oh my god, he said the thing! This dude is so sick. Alright, Lancer Saber. That's right, the Noble Phantasm. Blue Freak. Bluebeard. このままザコとばかり遊んでいるのも芸がない。いいだろう、セイバー。私が道を開く。ただ一度きりのチャンスで風を吹かせる。Run with the wind. That was italicized.どうさもない。Run with the wind.恐怖なさい。絶望なさい。向こうの程度だけで覆す。屈辱的でしょう。早もなく窒息して果てるのです。you monologuing right now is setting the biggest flag for you to get defeated. Why are you saying this? <laughs> He's cooked. It's over for him. <laughs> Run with the wind. Gay dick again. Did we get him? I think so, we cut it! Easy! That's a lot of blood, holy shit! Wait, did the book just heal? It did! The book can fucking heal? Does that mean this noble phantasm's not done yet and there's still mana? I guess he was just kinda distracted there, therefore the plant shit went down? What was that here though? Strike air. Saber technique. I don't know. Using mana to use overwhelming wind pressure to clear away. Then Lancer running with the wind. And I don't know, attacking? I, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Which spear landed the hit? Was it the red one? It was the red one. The mana cutting uh, spear, right? <laughs> The voice acting is so good. He probably is the best voice actor of this anime. And that's, that's, that, that well, is it fair to say that? Because again, it's not like, like, I can re zero, right? The crazy maniacs have much more dynamic range, therefore, you're biased to thinking that they're better voice acting, but they just simply had the role with more opportunity to show more range. I think that, like, Tokiomi. Kire, Kiritsugu, they have all amazing voice acting too. Lancer did not pick the curse off, even though we could have almost died together there. That's kind of stupid, right? Now, I, I, I'm not sure if he can or not. But I'm like, huh, throughout this entire ordeal where we could have technically died, he's, just, he's literally saying, yeah, things would have been different if Saber had regained the use of her left arm. Whose fault is it, bro? Bro, it's you. You are the one that cursed... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> his voice acting is so fucking good, bro. He's just so him that he can't get his fucking waifu. My Jean would never call me a fiend. <laughs> All right, back at the mansion. Kiritsugu's traps. Are you sure you should have marked that with your blood? Also, I'm surprised that like he didn't like use a poison bullet. Kiritsugu should have used a poison bullet. Like, if you can penetrate this shit, straight up, it should have been poison. I'm surprised he didn't do something like that. There's the slime blob. Yeah. Be hiding. 
Where? There he is. It's all according to plan, though, right? Yeah, it won't. The same trick won't work, but he has another trick up his sleeve, right? You bait him with, like... Like, he's thinking that we're going to use rock again, right? We've already shown him rock. This time, he's going to come with papers. We show him scissors. What is scissors, though? What do we have that's beyond that Thompson bullet? What was it? Your arrogance as a mage? Maybe. I mean, you fell for it. We literally conditioned you into thinking you could just block all the bullets. Then we sent a gun that can pierce that. That's strategy, but what is it? Coincidence? <laughs> This fucking, the average fucking O2 fighting game guy who go enters the tournament and immediately loses and makes excuses. Nah, you didn't fucking get me. Nah, bro, just a coincidence. Lucky. Oh. Yeah. He yapping. I guess... That kind of goes to also show... Does the Einsburns not have Mage Pride then? Because like, I know Kirisuku for sure doesn't, but he is representing Einsburn. But to Einsburns, they only care about the third true magic, Heaven's Feel. So I guess they too are kind of like Kirisuku and they, all they care about is results and the Mage Pride doesn't fucking matter at all to them. Thompson. Yeah. Ultimate defense. But that's what we wanted, right? Kirisugu wanted Kaneth to do the ultimate defense thing. That's what he needs him to do. Now what? <laughs> uh oh. Caster? Phase two? He just gone? He went home? All right, he got away. I thought it was like phase two time. Yeah, his master's in danger. Yep. Saber, don't let him go. Yeah. Saber, don't let Lancer go. What the fuck is this bitch? You on our side or what? Knight chivalry? The honor? Between two knights? Are we here to win or what? Right. I'm, I'm sick of this night shit. If I was Saber right now, as soon as Lancer turns around, airstrike. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, minus Kire. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Eh? Let's break that down. There's a new girl. Your origin lies in severing and binding, kid. To cut and tie. To sever and bind. It's a little different from destroying and regenerate. Cut and tie is different from destroy and regenerate. Is this Kirisugu backstory? Are we about to get context and how he can fucking penetrate the defense by Kaneth right now? Tie and bind. Cut. Sever. And this- what was- What the hell? If I cut a thread, tie it together, in the middle, it is thicker because you created the knot. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's become changed because it's thicker. Okay. Kitsuko? I've powdered two of your ribs and put some of it in this. We have bullets made out of Kitsuko's ribs? And this lady did it? I think this is a young Kitsuko, right? And this lady is like his master? Mom? Big sister? 
Your origin will materialize in anything that this hits. And his origins is. I feel like these are more key words, like the reality marble, right? But, ha. Huh. Basically, because of Kiritsugu's nature being sever and bind or some shit, it's not destroy and regenerate. Somehow, <laughs> we'll be able to penetrate anything with the bullet. Basically, this bullet will penetrate anything? Oh, cut? And then repair, right? Sever and bind. We're gonna sever their magic circuits, but then bind it back improperly, like breaking a bone, and then healing it in a fucked up way? They can't even use magic then? How many bullets did we have of this? We, we said two ribs. Two ribs powdered into... It's not just this single bullet. I'm assuming we have multiple, but not like an infinite amount. Mystic code. Origin bullet. How many? 66. I wonder how many he's used up to this point. Alright. Origin bullet. His origins, huh? An origin is essentially the starting point of your existence. It just defines you. It's like who you are. And Kiritsuku's origins, sever and bind. Use that concept into the bullet. It can sever anything. Magic circuits, cut. And I'll heal up back in a fucked up way. Kaneth, I'm sure you just got hit by this shit. So it's a three stage plan. The first stage is we have a regular gun. We shoot and they shield up. And then the second is, we've conditioned them. And then they think that if I shield up, nah, bro. Thompson bullet. But that wasn't an origin, right? The third is now the origin where he thinks that, okay, you think that you can fucking penetrate this? Well, hard defense. But it's like, nah, nah, nah. Now the actual bullet comes. <gasps> He's done, bro. Ah! Magic circuit's gone. Slime gone. <laughs> Mage killer, man. He's done. That bro died with two fucking extra command spells left. Kana, your wife will be so disappointed in you. Then again, isn't she always? Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Lancer. Really? Saber. It, it, is the power scaling between servants and masters so insane that like Kirisuku actually could, couldn't do anything right now? Like, like even with like time alter double XL, like Lancer could just destroy Kirisuku that easily? Like a master versus master battle is different, but with the servant, it's like impossible. Okay. Wow, okay. No. The nobility the King of the Knights displayed is the reason our target is getting away right now. If Saber just fucking had none of that shit, bro, this would never happen and we could get rid of both of you. We're not alive thanks to Saber, bro. This is a fucking mistake. Ah. Well, Kiritsugu was sick though. And what about Ki Kire? What about Kire, bro? Oh god, Kire! No! <laughs> no, Aidi! Is Maya dead? Her own will. What I say, bro? We should have fucking tattooed some fucking red looking drawings in her wrist. Kire fucking knows now! God damn it! Well, Aidy's been tasked by Kiritsuko to do it. Yo, is Kiri just a misogynist? He always says, woman. Female. Right now, he's destroying both Maya and Aidy. <laughs> I don't think he's a misogynist, but I've noticed that Kiri always says, woman. What are you doing here, woman? Maya. Maya ass. Oh. 
Isn't this kind of stupid for Hassan to just show up and like leak their like existence? Because like, ID will now know. You better get out of here. <laughs> you can heal that, right? You can heal that, right? No, I did not like this. But... Well... ID was tasked to be a fake master for Saber. But in this specific example, ID and Maya did want to do it for Kiritsuko. They weren't ordered to do it. So, yes, Kire is right. They did challenge them of their own accord. Kind of went against what a homunculi is, right? It's like of their own will. It's not just like a emotionless bot just taking orders like id wanted to do it for kiritsuku therefore he did it so it's like their free will hmm. no i think that you don't think maya and id understands kiritsuku i feel like they do definitely man he really wants to find someone just like him huh like he has no any like pleasures in life he's, he's confused again the example is a homeschool kid going to university and frat boy fucking gilgamesh showing him like hey bro party up drink a little and now he's trying to figure out like meaning of his own desires and pleasures and he thinks that by approaching kiritsugu he'll figure it out now he wants someone that can relate to him i want to be understood please someone like me must exist right that's what's going on with kire this writing animation is pretty funny I don't know why. This this Kire running animation just for a couple frames is funny. It just oh, look like he's doing this. <laughs> I don't know, it's kinda of funny. I think Kiri just wants someone to relate to. ID, can you live? Healing anything? Let's entertain the thought that Kirisugu would show up just in time and maybe a command spell could heal ID. Would Kiritsuku waste a command spell to save ID? I don't know, bro. If she is more useful being alive and being like a meat shield for Kiritsuku, yes, but like a part of me feels like no. This is all your fault, Saber. Yep, you yapped too much with Lancer. Kaneth got away. ID is pretty much dead. Maya probably is too. Everything is your fault, Saber. Like Maya's dead. Alright, Maya's living. Can she not heal herself? It is red after all. The sheath, the relic, the OP sheath of Excalibur, right? The thing that the Elder gave us from the Einsmer, they were, they were talking about this in episode one, about how it's just like eternal youth and regeneration, anyone linked with it, right? We, cause like it's, we have the sheath and the sword. The sheath noble phantasm lets you heal. We got two noble, oh. Gilgamesh has like an infinite amount for whatever reason, but a lot of other people are some bullshit noble phantasms too, but like, okay, we got the sheet that can heal and regenerate. Nice. Need to be close to Saber for it to work. Good move. Nice, Kiritsugu. Conceptual weapon. Another keyword dropped. Will Saber know? Why are we hiding from Saber? Where is she storing that sheath? It's a conceptual weapon, bro. Didn't you see? <laughs> Where is she storing that sheath? It's a very good actual question. But like, you know, it's a conceptual weapon. You don't know what a conceptual weapon is? You, you don't know what a reality marble is, bro? You, you don't know what an origin is? I don't know. I'm just trying to fucking understand it. They're throwing a lot of fucking buzzwords here. I, I think that you need to understand the fate lore to actually fully understand what the fuck this is, but I'm just gonna assume that, like, it doesn't need to have, like, a form right now, a physical form, because it's a conceptual weapon. It's just stored within her. It's conceptually. Fuck it. 
She also fucking Kiritsugu, but I guess you're cool with that, Aidi. Oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of mana. I can't heal Maya. I guess she's gonna have to die. Oops, let's get out of here. Okay. There it is. Today's episode, man. Mage Killer. I wanted to see a little bit more of Kiritsugu's powers. Time Alter. I want to see a Triple XL. Maybe Quad XL. Maybe Penta XL. How far does it go? But what do we learn? Kiritsugu's origins, sever and bind, it's not just destroy and regenerate. The conceptual idea has been forged into the bullet. Ribcage is powdered, 66 bullets, I don't know how many he had. But this shit will literally penetrate anything, destroy the fucking circuits of the mage, and then they can no longer use it. She, Kiritsugu's, whoever girl that was, it says like you will no longer be a mage or a human. So while Lancer saved Kaneth, the next time we see Kaneth, this is gonna be very interesting, man. Saber's Knight Code, I get it, right? They're from a different time, King of Knights. They have honor. Lancer and Saber, they've been mutually glazing the Knight's honor, but I just can't help but think, listen, we're not here for honor. We're here to fucking win, and everything Saber does, it's kind of fucking works against us, man. I wonder, wouldn't that like, a clash of ideals will happen from Saber and Kiritsugu. Like, will Kiritsugu actually like confront Saber and say like, you, you know, messed up. This is, you know, your, this is your, like everything fucked up because of you. I don't really know, man. Caster also got away. You know, Kire <laughs> let the girls get away. Just pokes at ID with the daggers just to see. Ah, so you do blood bleed red after all. But man, the whole Kire philosophy of him just wanting or wishing Kiritsugu to be just like him. And when he realizes that he might not be, ooh, that's gonna be a rude awakening. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.